Hello everybody, it is Wednesday. We're doing a little bit of D&D prep. So I seem a little bit soft. Let me see if I can pick that up just a smidge here. There we go. I've got my mic right close to me, so. All right, so I'll just try to speak up and we'll be good to go. So I've got my uh, background mixed up. So let me fix the background so you can see behind the scenes, behind the curtain of, of how I changed my background. So there we go, we'll go with what we did last week, because I like that. I like that setup of the books everywhere back in IR when we played D&D in IRL. Many times it's what your desk could look, end up looking like when you're getting ready to play. Um, so to start off with a little quote. Nice. Okay. Um, so today we're doing back into this group. Last week we, we did the background photo, which you can see there, all nice and pretty. Um, and we did an uh, encounter on the road. Uh, and the encounter was this one. And we've got the encounter right here. With two spiders. Um, and so that's gonna happen. Um, I wanna have another encounter real quick with a dragon. The dragon's gonna come. It's gonna fly over and then take off again. Um, I wanna see what kind of images I have. So first of all, I'm just gonna do images. Let's go to uh, so my campaign under library. So I'll go ahead and open this up for you guys at home. There you go. Um, so we're going to go to campaign images. I'm going to put road. Um, that's what I'm using. The line the road is another map. Uh, what I'm looking for is a picture. Um, is there a travel picture? Travel montage. Let's see what that is. Okay. You know what? That might work. Let me go back to this one and see. All right. So, because I can chop off the word travel montage. And just had to play it. Ooh, I like this. I'm going to use it. I'm going to do it. So let's go to we're going to open this up. Click. And then I'm going to put it in line of sight. wall. Actually we're going to go to grid first. So the grid on this one is going to be very small because these, um, this is supposed to be a, you know, as they're, as they're traveling. So this is, it's like he's way too big. So we're going to make this, uh, first of all we're going to show the grid. Blink. Yeah, we want it to be about, maybe not a tenth of the size, but about a quarter of the size. So that would be 12 and a half. Yep, that works. All right, now we're gonna turn down the grid. Actually, we're just gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna do our line of sight. Wall, we're gonna have a couple rectangles in here. We're going to turn the grid back on so I can see what I'm doing. And then, but when we actually use it, we'll go ahead and uh, turn it off. So I'm going to go to, I just want to get rid of this dude. So go back to our line of sight, rectangle.
And then we're going to do the same thing to get rid of travel montage. So we're going to go here. There we go. And now when you go to play, we're going to go to grid, turn off the grid. When we go to play, and you go to line of sight. And when you um, you go to our combat tracker, pull it up. Uh, the giant crab is pretty much out of the picture. Let's see who else is around. Uh, Felina. So we'll throw Felina onto the map. Oink. And I'll make it to where she can be seen. And then we'll go to go any of what the players see. Click. Yeah, see. So she moves around. So she's this big guild thing over here, um, and that's fine. All right, so we'll get rid of this. So, we go back to paint, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a layer of, uh, go back to our assets. So the dragon, what's going what's to happen is the dragon's going to come, fly, swoop down, and breathe on them, and maybe twice, uh, and then leave. So let's see what we have for Frost. Oops, that's tokens. Um, there's lots of giants and stuff. I'm gonna go to all and go to Frost. Let me just use a uh, spell template or something like that. Let's see. Eye of Frost. Ooh, that's really cool. Monster awesome Manual expanded. I'll have to check him out. Maybe there'll be a random encounter as they come up the mountain toward the. Dragon's home. Okay, so yeah, there's no. Um, of a dragon breathing fire or anything like that. So, frost salamander is another one. Ooh, cool. All right, so let's go to, uh, what I'm going to do, since I like those two monsters, I'm going to go here to my story. First of all, let's go to the NPCs and check them out. See what, uh, It helps if you spell it right. S A L A M A. Oops. Son of a mother. S A L A M. There you go. Frost Salamander is a C R 9. So they can fight one Frost Salamander by themselves. A freezing Breath automatically recharges when it takes things. Five attacks. Alright, so I can do like a baby frost salamander or something. We'll see. I'll think about it. And then the other one was a uh, eye of frost. Eye of frost. And that is challenge rating 12, so they couldn't handle an eye of frost. Okay, so it has frost, freeze, telekinetic. It only has three, three rays though, that's pretty cool. That's fine. So let's see what the uh, frost giant zombie CR has a challenge nine. What about frost giant skeleton? Challenge six. See, there you go. Boom. We have a frost giant skeleton come and attack him. <laughs> Pretty cool. 
cool, pretty cool. Alright, um... Frost Veil, what is that? Okay, interesting. It is a CR4. That's cool. Let's unlock this so we can fix it. What? Read only. <sighs> Bull crap. We can't fix the grammar in here. Alright. Um, whipped through the air by a snowstorm that are resembling a spider's web dangling with delicate ice crystals. Slightly gliding beautiful killers of semi-sentient plants adapted to the merciless cold of the north. Cool, cool, cool. Throw a couple of those at the party. Alright, so I have some ideas for when they're going up into the cold mountains. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up into go to my story. We'll go to the DM's crib sheet. A couple different ways. This one has a crib sheet, so it's nice. Cryovane the dragon. Um, so here's an encounter with Cryovane. So we're going to throw him. the link to here because when they leave leave the road to Fandalin they're going to hit Cryovane, it's going to attack him so I'll add him to the combat tracker at that point um, and he does, let's just make sure we remember his breath is 30 foot cone okay So I'm looking for the last attack. Ice fire hold. Yes, that's the last one. Okay. Ice fire hold is where the Avengers can find it. All right. So we're going to drop this down into the link down here. Oh, never mind. I have it right here. Boom. Ice fire hold. Cool. All right. So I already had it linked below because I'm. Just didn't remember doing that before, so that's cool. through these choices here all right so we don't need those here's travel to okay so travel to ice fire peak is just the one yeah there's just the one thing so I'm going to and also put in here open it up Okay, so that's not the story entry, that's just the reference manual. So I'm going to go here to the story and type in travel because travel to Icefire Peak right here, Icefire Hold. Here we go. So this is the actual story entry. You'll notice the difference. We unlock it. And I'm going to put here. Enter, enter. So there's a single encounter for them, but I'm going to go ahead and put Frost Veil. So this one I know I'm going to do. So the Frost Veil will actually build an encounter for this. Um, but I'm also going to throw in the Skeleton. And the Frost Salamander. I haven't decided if I want to do the Frost Salamander. I said uh, probably going to have it be a wussier version of, this, of the Frost Salamander. Um, Let's take a look one more time at DM's crib, at the uh, 
A dragon? Fire lane? It's a CR6. Okay, so, yeah. Probably going to need to, uh, bump up Cryo a little bit. Let's see. Cryo is Frost Dragon. So let's go. There we go. White Dragon. White. White. Mature. Ancient. Adult. Young Adult. Young White. Alright, so let's see. Young Adult is CR. CR6, okay, so that's what she is. Um, cry of a picture. Large dragon chaotic, it doesn't say her age, it says large. Alright, so we're probably going to boost her up. We don't want to make her CR10 at this point. Um, but honestly, it depends on. How many players I have that day and what they want to do. So we'll see. They also have the Dragon Slaying Sword, which is pretty cool. Uh, a white Dragon Shield Cobalt. I might throw some of these puppies at with them. These guys are CR one. Yeah, I'll probably throw some of these puppies with Cryovain. So that way so let's go to I'm looking to see where she shows up. She's in the, no, she's not in kind of the audience room. I thought she was on the roof, but I guess not. So let's take a look here and see where Cryo Lane, here it is. Encounter, she's on the roof, okay. Encounter with Cryo Lane. Open, and I'm gonna throw a couple, two of these guys in here. Two, refresh, makes it series seven. Okay, cool. So these guys have dragon's resistance. And if the kobold is frightened or paralyzed by an effect that allows the saving throw, I'm gonna repeat the saving throw on itself and all kobolds from 30 view of it. Okay. And then it gains an advantage and pack tactics. Makes two melee attacks with its spear, doing 1d8 plus 1 or 1d6 plus 1. Okay. So, they're not OP at all. Uh, they just have resistances, which makes them cool. So we'll put three of these guys here. We do the XP. Close it. Boom. Alright, so, so if you haven't caught on, as I find these NPCs that I think are interesting or fit the story, I'm finding them within the storyline and adding them in. Um, so the other thing uh, uh, I'm gonna I said I was gonna make a here it is encounter with the frost veil so we'll go back to where it said uh, travel to and then we're going to put um, frost veil encounter control 2 changes the text in that line to a heading or you know where, wherever your cursor is um, go ahead and capitalize that there we go and then I'll throw this here boom so if nothing else I at least have the encounter listed and the NPC I was, I was talking about so I can just find a, a, a map and 
throw it in, link it in there and stuff. Um, we might even have time to do that today. We'll see. All right. So with our well, back to our travel montage, we're going here. What we want to do is we want to have the cone ready to go already. So we're going to go to our assets. Here under library assets and under temp spell templates, I have a cone An official correct cone. So I'll wait for this blue circle of loading this. Here we go. So we have a 30 foot cone right here. Boom. Um, I like this one for Dragon's Breath. And so what it's going to look like, so we're going to take, we're going to go to paint, we have, we have layer, uh, take our 30 foot cone, drop it in, we're going to go to stamp, we're going to flip it because she's breathing, and we're going to stamp it right there, bam. I guess it didn't flip it enough. All right, so now we go back to layers. Go to layer select. Take a 30 foot cone and we're gonna turn it. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the tint and I'm gonna go to light blue. There we go. Make it a little bit uh, transparent. Okay, and then, so when we bring in our dragon, let's go to uh, tokens, which is under assets, tokens, hello. We go to frost, just under tokens, and oh it's a white dragon there she is okay I'm going to go ahead and use this one Let's see what other so those are tokens yeah so that's good I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. And now let's go ahead and use this one. I'll do this one. Alright, so we're slapping it on there. Boom. Okay. So, we zoom in. Go back to play mode. Click. So actually what I think what I'm going to do is uh, so there she goes, she breathes. Ready for a cone. So if you do your double click, you can see this is a 65 foot, 60 foot cone. Why is it so double okay so that's no problem we just take here we go here to our layers click it and it needs to be half so 13 divided in half is 6.5 6.5 enter Boink. okay so now we go back to our play mode click on this 30 feet. Come on, let me move it. Well, I want you to let me move. Okay, I'm going to get rid of it. Boom. 30 feet. There we go. So that's 30 foot cone. So here's our dragon. Breathe now a 30 foot cone on the players who are going to be walking along here. And she's going to do it twice. And then 
potential to fly. Wah, wah, breathe and fly away. So we're going to take this and we're going to make it invisible to all. Uh, I'm actually going to make this token actually a uh, layer. So that way I can manipulate it and change it a little bit. Um, let's go to... layer and we're gonna slap this in here Oink. 32 by 32 no we're gonna make it three I'm gonna make it a lot huge it normally wouldn't be huge and here's the tile and then bam uh, again why is it doing that show me the grid folks okay it is right one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Never mind. Go away, grid. Thank you. So now when we have a cone. So we go to her. We go to the layers. She breathes down. She flies away. We, we. So that's what's going to be. It's what going to look like. We're going to make these both invisible. We have our road to Fandolin. We want to link Cryovain in here. Open her up. We're going to drop her in here, Oink. and then we're going to drop the travel montage map into this encounter. So what's going to happen is they're going to have the King's Road, which is Road to Vandalin. Boom. The Road to Vandalin first, and that's encounter with spiders as they're walking home. Then you're going to see this. They're, going to, they're walking home. And the characters will be on the road. And then the dragon's gonna come, breathe, turn around and come back, breathe again, and then leave. I think you need to work on your dragon sounds. I doubt he goes wee wee when he flies off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> hey Drake, how you doing? Um, all of you who don't know who Drake is, shame on you. He is a tremendous DM. He also does all of my videos. So if you like the start of the video when we do the starts today. Um, and my other videos, uh, it's all because of him. Drake takes video you see at the end symbol there he does that's all him so check him out he also is on the use in the tubes uh, his link is there on his twitch uh, you can see all his games and stuff um, if you like live play D, &D his is the channel to watch it's good stuff um, and you'll get to see me on a lot of his streams as well um, but he also does some um, he's a player as well in Savage Worlds, so. Simon Timmons is his character's name. Okay, so this is what, what we're going to be doing. This whole idea here, using this image as a map, as a combat map, is because of him. So, um, and for those of you, uh, if you missed it, Drake, I put, uh, line of sight so they won't be able to see the word or this dude uh, and that's what I'm going to be using because he did this has done it several times now in his games and, uh, and I like the idea of using a 3D map placing the characters along so and that's what's going to happen uh, so this is my flyby so my um, I'm actually going to keep it travel montage because it's not really a travel montage but it's close enough 
they're traveling. Uh, Drive-by attack. Cool. So then they, they'll have their encounter here, and then I've got the link from here to the next encounter, and then I'll get to Vandal in it and the stuff that they're going to do. All right. So that's it for that. Um, so let's go ahead and go back to our storyline. with this uh, travel to Ice Spire Hold. Um, go to the story, click travel to Ice Spire. So you'll see my changes that I made. Yeah, the bug layer map needed to be a tad bigger last night, but it was pretty cool. It worked. It worked. Uh, you, know, you could have made the, uh, like I did on this, the map I was just showing, the grid smaller, and it would have worked just fine. But I said it worked. Uh, I think it worked well, even the way it was. So, Oh, and 200 biddies. How in the hell did I not see that? That's awesome. Thank you, Drake. Uh, I have all my sound set up for when people subscribe, or if they do a gift subscription, um, or if they follow, I have these uh, jump scare alerts set up, but for some reason, the alert that's supposed to be there for when people cheer doesn't pop. So. Thank you so much. I didn't see that. Uh, I really, really appreciate the uh, the biddies. That is amazing. You're awesome. Thank you. All right. So we said we were going to do a the frost veil. So the frost veil is the see if they have a picture. What's the picture look like again? Yeah. So it's, it's sort of a net. Uh, so it's a actually a plant but it's like a net um, there says flat node shaped like large snowflakes connect to their net like bodies and trailing tails of transparent fibers gossamer tendrils stream between and behind the flying snowflake ready to grab and entangle any warm body creature it detects all right so these are challenge rating four so we'll throw a couple of them at them while it remains motionless, it's indistinguishable from a formation of frost and ice. Blowing in the wind, it can fly at the speed of 30 feet or 60 feet in a strong wind. Alright, so let's find a frost or snowy image. Let's go with snow, see what kind of. Nope. Um, Go to our ass at go to images and let's go in snow. I I have a lot of I could easily make it in fancy grounds. I want to target the snow with Elder's Blast. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, our, our group has a catch has a way of uh, NPC detection. They just walk around trying to target things, and if they can target like the chair, because it says a creature, Eldritch Blast, for example, is targeted, you target a creature. So if you try to target a chair, in theory, you wouldn't be able to. Um, so here's a battle map right there, for example. Very cool. I might even just use this one, we'll see. I don't like the fact that it has these two stupid tokens on it, but that's easily enough covered reflective snow go back to that one interesting okay
So I could do the same thing, have the tokens be here as they're climbing up and these frost veils coming and attack them. But for now, we'll leave it the way it is. A snow beetle instead of a dung beetle. Snow road, let's see. That's a pretty basic snow road. That's That would work, too. That's an idea. Snow rocks. Let's check this out. Well, there you go. I like that one better. Um, because they're going to be trudging up the side of the mountain. So that might work. And here's the trees. We want snow trees. Um, it's not really mountainous. You know, foresty, I mean, where they have. Are they going to be traveling? So I'm not going to worry about that. I think that will work as well. Snow village, snow wall. Alright, so let's go back to this one. We're going to use the uh, plain old snow with rocks as they're climbing up the mountain. Create, so you double click it to preview it, and then you're going to create the image record. Close it all down. Zoom in a bit. I'm not really going to mess with this much at all. I like it. It works. Um, let's go ahead and go to our grid. Show it. Yep, so that works. That's fine. It's a very large boulders and rocks. We're going to change the grid to uh, bring it down a little bit. It's not as in your face. There we go. Okay. Uh, might even bring it down a little bit more. We can make it like a light blue too. Do it that. Go with that way. And then, go. So now we're going to take our, making go to our encounters. Uh, this is travel to Ice Spire Hole 0 0.9, 0 0.9.03. So we're going to go to encounters. Right here in our campaign, open it up and go to. Uh, last page. Okay, so let's go back to the first page. Second page, we're looking for a 0 09. Here it is. 0 09. So we don't have any 0 09.03 at all. So that's perfect. So we're going to click and add a new one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Dragon of Ice Fire Peak. Dragon of Ice Fire Peak. Right, uh, right click up here. Create an item. So this is going to be 09.03A because I'm probably going to have a couple of them. There we go. So Atomic Hero Squad. Welcome. Welcome. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Um, Atomic knows who Drake takes is. And Mantha is here. Thank you very much. Appreciate. I was getting ready to do the shout out for Atomic, and she beat me to it. Awesome. Hello, everybody. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Um. Oops, that did not go in the right spot. Boom, there it is. Travel to Ice Fire Peak. And then we throw in the NPC. Boink. We're going to put two of them in there. See what the CR is. CR6, that's perfect. Uh, 
look at the thing. So they're going to be coming up. I'm going to have them going up like this way. So I am going to throw in some um, footprints. But first of all, we're just going to throw these guys here. So if you get to drag them from where it says placement to put them on the map. There we go. Now when you lock it, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and drag this onto the map. So now that's pinned. So we have the pin. And then I'm going to go here. And instead of this, we're going to go ahead and hit return and drag this here. Control 1 changes it to normal text. So I can then rewrite it with this. So I don't want this whole Snow Rock Winter Background JPEG at Smite Works. So we're just going to type Parabola 2 Ice Spire and make it unidentified. So this is what they will see. And then when I drag this over, you will see, boom, travel to Ice Spire. So now I have it linked within my story. I have it linked, the encounter itself linked on the map itself. All right, and the last thing we wanna do is put some pretty, pretty prints. And we will be done. So we'll go to assets counter so now we are set we have way more stuff than we will need we're gonna be doing some go back to all and I'll type in foot because it's footprints if I'm not mistaken might be tracks so we have bare footprint tracks web footprint tracks so let's see if we type in tracks what it says I should have just type track well oh, there we go there's the tracks we wanted all right, so wolf, bear, webbed, monster, horseshoe, clove, feet, barefoot. All right, so with this group, so what you do is, um, is we have a, as you can see here, we have mostly regular foot. We have a barefoot dude. We have boots, boots. Minotaur and boots. Uh, so it depends on what your minotaurs looks like. If they're, um, if they have hooves or if they have feet. Dragon tracks. There you go. Gorilla tracks. So, just for fun, I'm going to throw a couple different tracks on here. Uh, so what we do is go to our paint layer. We do plus new, add a paint layer. Double click it to enter the name as tracks. Um, and then we're just going to slap this on here. It is under line paint. And uh, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just so people can see. Uh, and then we'll zoom in. And we're just going to make some tracks. As these people are walking up the mountain, I'm going to put them about there. Um, so these were monster tracks. Uh, then I'll put the clove, cloven footprints. So these guys are pretty are walking pretty close together. Actually, I'm going to undo that Control Z and make these a little bit bigger, holding the Control button. And uh, using the mouse wheel makes them bigger. There we go. So it's not quite exactly the same, but it's close as far as the uh, rate. We'll throw some elephant tracks on there just to mess around with people. Okay. And then the last thing we're going to do is footprints. 
I'm really surprised they don't have blueprints. You would think they would have. Oh, here it is, blueprints. Durr. Okay. Boom. So we're going to have to make a big... There we go. Blueprints. And we're going to do a couple of those. Blueprints. There we go. Alright, so as you zoom in, you can see those are our prints in the snow. And then we'll put the characters right here in these squares as they're moving along. So this has been linked. Our encounter has been linked. Everything has been linked. We are awesome and ready to go. Um, all right, so I'm going to switch over to some Magic the Gathering. So don't go anywhere. I will be right back.